love. You are welcome in Jesus' name. God bless everyone. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we thank you this hour. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace you are giving to us to be in your presence today. We worship you. God bless you, everyone. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to thank God this hour. Let's begin to glorify his name because he's good. Our God is good. Our God is wonderful. Amen. Wherever you are this hour, begin to thank God. Begin to glorify his name. He alone deserves all the glory. He alone deserves to be praised in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We watch you through this hour. We glorify your holy name. You alone are worthy to be praised. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Father, Lord, I call upon you this hour. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the grace you are giving to us today. Thank you for the mercy, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for we to be among of the living. We say thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we are not better than those that have died. We are not better than them. Father, it's by your mercy, Lord, that we are alive today. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. You alone are worthy to be praised. You alone are deserved to be praised. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our brothers and sisters. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for the church of God. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Thank you, Lord, for all the two churches in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all the men of God, all the women of God. Father, Lord, I bless your holy name for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for all the every children of God in the whole wide world. I thank you, Lord, for their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, because you are the only God that keeps us alive today, we have no any other God apart from you. Father, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for all you have done for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We worship you. We adore you this hour. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. For your goodness, I say thank you, Lord. Open your mouth and 
pray somebody. Pray for your life. Pray for your life. Pray for your children. Pray for your destiny. Pray for any destiny killer. Every witch is a witch that in your father's house, in your mother's father, among of your friends. Anyone that don't want you to succeed in life, begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. And the man that has closed is a destiny killer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray and deliver yourself. Deliver yourself for the camp of the enemy. Deliver your children. Deliver your loved ones. Deliver your brothers and sisters. Open your mouth and pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray that God to fight your battle. That God to destroy every power of darkness. Every power that wants to rob this your life. Every power that wants to destroy you. Begin to ask God to destroy them. To defeat that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray for God to deliver you. Pray for God to destroy anything that evil people is using against you. Whatever they are using against you. Also, to succeed in life, begin to cast it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Cast it out, cast it out, cast it out. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray. Ask God to strip all your enemy nations. Strip them of their power, strip them of their weapon, wherever they are used to frustrate your life. Let that evil return back to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Ask God to return evil back to sender. Any power that has sent you death, sickness, poverty, delay, obstacle. Ask the Almighty God to reverse it back to the enemy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that don't want you to excel in life, begin to conquer that power. God has given you authority and power. So step up a scorpion of serpent. Any serpent in your life, any scorpion in your life, you have the power to defeat them right now. Begin to destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy every power of darkness. Wherever enemies are gathered together to frustrate me, to frustrate my brothers and sisters, to frustrate my calling, to frustrate my life, begin to destroy them. Father, Lord, I scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, somebody. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. A close man, a close destiny. Pray for yourself right now. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Begin to abort every satanic power, every demonic power, every tyrant, every power fighting against you. Is it occult power? Is it nasty doctor? Is it marine power? Is it cobu? Any power that is raising against you to destroy you, begin to conquer them. Begin to conquer them. Speak somebody. Speak, 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 speak and defeat your enemy. Defeat them, defeat them, defeat them. Jesus Christ already giving you that power. He has given you that authority to destroy every power of darkness. Any power of darkness cannot stand against you. Cannot stand against your life. Cannot stand against whatever you are doing in the living. Let the powers of darkness fall down. Let them fall down and die. 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 Rebuild them, rebuild them, rebuild them, reject them. Reject them in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapons are come against you, somebody. I cast out every darkness power. Every darkness power covering your destiny. Covering your life. Covering your children's destiny. Let them be lifted up and destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be lifted up and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Whatever enemy has you to destroy your life, to kill your life and not stand. I oppose every power of darkness, every power of evil, any witchcraft, any charm, any divination, any sorcerer, whatever they are using to frustrate you, to not stand. I break it right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Every evil force in your life is here by destroy. It's 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 here by destroy. Fire on the Holy Ghost. I put on every stronghold, every limitation, every yoke of darkness in our life, in our children's life, in our brothers and sisters' life, in the body of Christ. Let it be broken. Break by fire. 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 We put down every stronghold. We scatter them. We scatter them. We scatter them. Every yoke in our life. Let it be fire. Let it receive fire. Let it receive fire. My baba ba so so re ba bo. Re ba 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 ba. Ro bo so ko ro ba bo. Fire on the Holy Ghost. Fire on the Holy Ghost. Fire on the Holy Ghost. I put down every yoke of darkness. Every limitation is there by scatter. Every delay is broken out the way in your life. Any curse is scatter. Whom God has not cursed, no man can cut. No woman can cut. Whatever that is causing you pain. Whatever that is causing you delay. Whatever that is causing you obstacle. Whatever that is causing you setback. I hereby scatter. Let it destroy. Let it cast fire and burn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, we bless you. 
we worship you, Lord. Father, I set your people free in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is pursuing them to kill them, let that person go for them in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has vowed that they will never succeed in life, that person will go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the children of God will succeed. Because God said we will succeed. The righteous will never bear for bread. They shall never be forsaken by God. Almighty God will not abandon the righteous. My God, my Redeemer, every plot of the enemy shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are plotting against the children of God shall not stand. It shall not hold. We block every area of darkness. Wherever they want to operate through, let that area be blocked in the name of Jesus Christ. Any real sector that want to operate to destroy, to see, to keep, let that area be blocked in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Evil ones cannot penetrate to hurt the children of God. Wicked people cannot penetrate to our life to destroy us. Amen. They will never succeed because we are serving the living God. Amen. We are not serving the dead God. We are serving the God that is alive. Our God is the same God today. Is the same God forever. Amen. Father, Lord, rise and let your enemy be scattered. Amen. Wherever they are gathered together, that they say the children of God will not stand. Devil, you are a liar. Yes, the words of the Most High God, you are a liar. You are a failure. You failed 2,000 years ago. You will forever be failed. You have no power over the children of God. Like you can never succeed. You can never stop them. You can never destroy them. You have no power to kill them. You have no power to rob them. We come against you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. We stop all your evil activities. We stop all your evil plans in the name of Jesus Christ. All your plans shall be aborted by the precious blood of Jesus. Father, I set your children loose. I set them free for the powers of darkness. Wherever power is coming to destroy them, to kill them, that power shall not stand. I block that power in the name of Jesus Christ. I block that power in the name of Jesus Christ. I block that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of darkness rising from witchcraft coven, rising for occultic kingdom, rising for marine kingdom, wherever kingdom they are gathered together to forsake the body of Christ, we block them in the name of Jesus. Their power shall not stand. Their evil shall not stand. We scatter their activity. We scatter their activity in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every evil power be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, not set your children free. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Set your people free, my Father. Begin to pray, children of God. Pray for yourself. Pray for your loved ones. Pray, 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 pray. Ask God to set you free. Ask God to deliver you. Ask God to bless whatever you are doing for a living. Ask God, whoever that is looking for a job, this is your opportunity to have one. Ask God to open doors for you. No matter what is going on in this time, the Bible said those that know their God, they can do what they will do more explain. It doesn't matter what is going on. Some people is going down and some people is lifting up. He said, I am God that lifts one up. I am God that bring one down. It doesn't matter who, who, who God brings down this time. It doesn't matter who God lifts up this time. Yes. But what matters is that you will be among of the people that will lift up, that God will lift up in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. You will be among of the people God will lift up in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Bible says many are the splitter of the righteous body. God will deliver them from their own. Yes. May God set you free the people of God. Righteous children of God, may God deliver you yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No Tony Bow. No Tony Bow. I have
your holy name Amen. because you are a good God. Amen. You alone are worthy to be praised. You are the king of kings. You are the lord of lords. Yes. But by this hour we say thank you. Yes. Father may your presence be with us. Amen. May your presence dwell with us. Amen. Father may you never leave us. May Amen. you never forsake us. Amen. Father today I'm about to bring your words to your people. Father anoint my mouth O God. Anoint my lips in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Speak through me O God. Father, may I not speak my own word. Anything that will not bless your children, any word that will come out from your mouth, that will come out from my mouth, that will not be a blessing to your children, Father, may you not allow it to come out in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The one that will be a blessing to them, that will make them know the God that they are serving, that will make them know the truth, Father, Lord, that is the word that you will give to your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord, may, your, may the Spirit of God take charge here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, take over me in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Father, I open the service in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God bless you all. Amen. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I can see everything turning around, turning around, everything turning around for your own good. I can see everything turning around, turning, turning around for our life, oh, turning around for our own good. We can see everything turning around, turning, turning around. Wow. 
in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are welcome. May God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. It is good to praise God. It is good to reverence Him. Amen. Because that is the only thing we can give to God. God did not need our money. God need what? God need our heart, our praise. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you in your Amen. dwelling place, in your home. Please do well to be giving God praise doesn't matter even though you are there alone it doesn't matter just be thanking God be praising him the time you will give to the devil to be feeding you with a lot of evil thoughts use that time to be what to be praising God so that your mind will be free hallelujah Amen. because the moment you have been delivered from your mind all oh, your body everything about you have set free hallelujah Amen. but when devil still have power to hold your mind that means <laughs> you yourself <laughs> instead of not taking if you did not understand that that person will not go anywhere hallelujah Amen. but if you want to go somewhere in this world make sure that you do what you give your heart to god and you give your mind to god so that god can what can protect your mind and guide your mind for you in jesus name Amen. so today i title my my message employ and spread the word the wicked people are from among you take them away the wicked people Take them away from what? From your group. Don't allow them to stay with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, Hallelujah. because the wicked person, the wicked people, the bad people, when they are still around you, possibility that you will not go what? You will not go further in life. Because what the Bible says, say the, the thief come to do what? To steal, to kill, to destroy. So when the enemy of Christ finally put these people around you, his own people, when he put them around you, around your midst, around your group, they can be in school, they can be in working place, they can be, they can be in your life. They can be your brothers, they can be your sisters, they can be your husband, they can be your wife, they can be your children, they can be, they can be so many people that is they can be anybody hallelujah Amen. these people can be anybody but when they're in your life the bad people negative people wicked people when they're in your life possibility that you are not going anywhere if you don't know what to do with them hallelujah Amen. because many people many people life have been destroyed because of these wicked people Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, may you bless your word. Help me, Lord, to speak to your children, Lord. Amen. Father, help me, Lord, not to mislead them. Help me, Lord, to direct them to you. Amen. Father, this is what I want for your people, Lord. Father, the word that will bless them for you. This word that will bring them closer to you. The word that will make them depend on you alone. Father, Lord, speak through me to them this hour. Amen. Let them be blessed through this word. In Amen. the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Take them away from what? From among you. I have nothing to do with negative people. I have nothing to do with bad people. I have nothing to do with evil people. Hallelujah. Amen. These people will not make you go further in life. No matter the bread, the cake, whatever they are giving to you, when they are in your life, they will never make you go further. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what the Bible said. So I would love us to turn our Bible to 1 Corinthians. We are going to read. I'm going to tell you what Apostle Paul said. 1 Corinthians chapter 5. I'm going to read from verse 11 
please pay attention if you are there open your bible so that i give you this bible verse because he himself said we should what we should exploit them out of our midst because if you did not take them away they are going to frustrate your life they are going to destroy your life they are going to make you miserable and possibility that you will not make it in life because what these people is causing is terrible but um i will some people will be thinking in their mind okay what about uh, this person is my husband is my wife is my children can i send them away hallelujah so i'm going to tell you what you are going to do with such people hallelujah i will tell you later but first let me just give you this bible verse so i'm going to read from verse 11 they said but now i am written to you that you must not associate with anyone who claims to be a brother or a sister, but is sexual, immoral, or great. Hallelujah. I am I am written to you that you you <laughs> you will not associate yourself with such people. The such people may claim they are brother, they are sister, they can be brother in Christ, they can be sister in Christ, they can be anybody to you. But as far as they have this quality in them, this evil attitude, this attitude that will not please God, the Bible say have nothing to do with what? With these people. Hallelujah. Have nothing to do with these people. And because they are evil, they have evil hearts, so they have greed also in them. Bible is still telling you greedy people have nothing to do with them. They are greed. Hallelujah. Sexual immoral or greed I have nothing to do with them and idolatry I have nothing to do with such people people that serve idol people that worship other god people that their life is not pleasing almighty god I have nothing to do with this not a sin let them say whatever they want to say but as far their their attitude is not showing christ light stay away from them hallelujah because people will be saying, just look, yeah, they will be saying all kinds of things that doesn't really make sense. But you will not expect me to be associate myself with you when your life is not pleasing God, when you are living like, 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 I don't know, I don't want to use insult words. Hallelujah. I will never have anything to do with you. Whatever you think about me, that is not my business because my Bible told me such people, I have nothing to do with them. Hallelujah. People that practice evil, idol, sexual immoral, many people that they are not doing that, but your lifestyle, your lifestyle is showing it. Hallelujah. Especially women. A lot of women, yeah, some married women, but they are not, they, I don't know, but the way you are living your life is showing all those kind of evil behavior. Hallelujah. You must have Christ like as a child of God. Behave like one. You will not say you are a child of God and at the end, you are also behaving like the worldly, you are living worldly life. Your life will never please God. The Bible told me that I should have nothing to do with such people. Hallelujah. Including you that is watching me today. If you are like that, stop. But if you are not like that, the Bible is telling you today, I have nothing to do with them. Let them say you have changed. That is not your business because you are obeying the voice of God. Hallelujah. Because who the Son of God set free is free indeed. You can be having things you were doing with them before, but now you know the truth. The Bible says when you know the truth, the truth will do what? The truth will set you free. Now you know the truth. You have decided your mind, your heart that I will never have anything to do with such people again in my life. So whatever they let like to say, let them say because they are life is not pleasing God. Hallelujah. Amen. Their life is not pleasing God because the Bible tells us that there is a way that seems good to a man. The end thereof is death. Hallelujah. So many people are doing all those things but they think they are living life. They think they are, they, they are, they are, they are enjoying their life. Time will come when they will meet their work. They will meet their destruction. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, he said a slander. I have nothing to do with people people that is slandering other people. I have nothing to do with drunker. Hallelujah. I have nothing to do with drunker. People that is that that, that that we consume alcohol. I have nothing to do with them. It's not my word, it's in the Bible. He said, I have nothing to do with drunker, or I have nothing to do with, with all such people. Do not even eat with, with such people. That is what Bible is telling you now. Do not even eat with what? With such people. I have not 
it or do with them. Now don't even eat it with them. Don't go to their house. Don't eat with them. Hallelujah. Amen. Because their way is not pleasing God. So don't say because they are my friend, they are my relative, they are my, they are my neighbor, they are my this, they are my that. Then you are pretending to follow them. And you yourself know that their way is not pleasing God. People that is, that is full of alcohol, drinking alcohol, they, their way is not pleasing God. People that is greed, their way is not pleasing God. Immoral and sexually people, their way is not pleasing God. The Bible says, I have nothing to do with them. Don't even sit with them. Don't eat with such people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let them say whatever they want to say. I swear that they are not the ones that are giving you that commandment. You are obeying the commandment of God. It doesn't matter. If they let them come to you, if they don't want to come to you, it doesn't matter. Do away with such people. Hallelujah. Amen. Because don't be afraid that you will lose friends. It doesn't matter. You have a friend. It's Jesus. His name is Jesus. Holy Spirit is your friend. It's your comforter. Nobody, if you think I am joking, find yourself into a deep pit. When you find yourself into a deep pit, there is no one that can comfort you like the strength the Holy Spirit will give to you. People will come and comfort you, but they will still go their own way. Eh? You will still be on inside that pit. But when Bible, when the Holy Spirit comes, when Jesus Christ comes to you to strengthen you, to comfort you, even though you are still in that pit, but you will have strength to move on. Am I saying the truth? You will have strength to move on. So don't associate yourself with wrong people. Wrong people will destroy your destiny. Wrong people will not make you move forward in your life. Because you are pretending you don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to make people say that you are holy, holy. You don't want to make people say, oh, you are too righteous. No, not because you are too righteous. Not because you are, you are holy, holy. You are just obeying what the truth said. The Bible said, hallelujah. You can, I cannot be me going with you. I can never again in my life to be me going with sitting down among of people that is drinking alcohol, sitting down in their midst. I'm not drinking, but I'm inside their midst. What am I showing? Hallelujah. What am I showing? I'm hypocrites. I'm supposed to tell these people the truth, but I cannot say the truth so that I will not offend them. But I'm just there pretending. My Bible is telling me today that I should, I should have nothing to do with those people. I should not even eat in their house. Including you, if you are a true born again Christian, if you are a believer, if you are a child of God, the same, the same, the same law God to you, the same instruction God to you, obey it so that you shall be prosperous. Hallelujah. Many times, many things that we find ourselves in, in, in deep, suddenly we will suffer ourselves in some situation it is because of what we have done to ourselves. Hallelujah. We go, we go to a place that we're not supposed to be. We go to, we associate ourselves with people we're supposed not to associate ourselves with. We cannot look at them eyeball to eyeball to tell them the truth. We are just pretending. God will punish us for that. We will receive our punishment. Hallelujah. Things will start going bad for you because God has sent you into the world to preach his gospel. But you cannot correct these people. You cannot, you cannot tell them the truth because you don't want to offend them. You yourself will miss your punishment on the way. Are you seeing it? Are you getting it? Because I know what I'm saying. I'm facing it. I face that consequences in my life. So I'm telling you to, they have nothing to do with them. If they say you are changed, it doesn't matter because your, your destiny matters to you. Hallelujah. I suffered those consequences because of, because of that. I know what I've passed through before God have mercy on me. You cannot stand, stay with weird, weird things is not right. And you cannot look at them, tell them the truth. You are just there. Hypocrites. And you are not, you are not, you are not, you are not like them. You are not doing the same thing. But what are you doing there among them? You are a child of God. Am I telling you the truth? I have received my punishment. I, I know I received my punishment for that. And that uh, God has set me free. And I will never again in my life to repeat that same mistake again. Hallelujah. Amen. Things started turning upside down for me. Everything got wrong for me. Because I did not correct such people. Because so that they will not think uh, she, uh, she, 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 she is claiming she is, the, she is the righteous person, she is too holy. Let them say whatever they want to say, but speak the truth. If they don't like you, all and say, do it, let them go. Hallelujah. If they don't want to come to you anymore, it's okay, let them go. Because where God is taking you to is higher than those people. Are you hearing it? He said, don't eat with them. 
He said, what business? Now listen. Listen what Apostle Paul said now in 12. He said, what business? What business is, is it of mine to judge those outside the church? He said, to judge those outside the church is not his business. Hallelujah. To judge those outside the church is not his business. But those inside the church, he need to tell them the truth. I will not go to, to where they say beer parlor, uh, where they call it, uh, uh, beer parlor now. Go, 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 go there to start judging those people. It's not of my business. But those that call themselves Christian, so-called Christian, they are still behaving like worldly people. And I know that they, they, they are going to church, they are Christian. I have the right to tell them the truth. It's here in the Bible. He said, what business of mine is that to judge, the, to judge those outside the church? It's a question. Question mark is there. He said, are you not, he said, are you not to judge those inside? He's asking you, are you not to judge those inside? And those inside that is behaving, that, that is having that character, you refuse to, to tell them. You refuse to let them know that what they are doing is wrong. Then you keep quiet. You will receive your punishment. Hallelujah. You will receive your punishment because the reason most of us don't want to say anything, we don't want to lose people, we don't want to lose them, we don't want to lose the friendship, but those same people, no matter what you do to them, you cannot please anybody, they must still find fault in you and say you are bad. Am I telling the truth? Now, you can't please anybody. Even Jesus Christ, he have done so many things for people. Those same people still look at him, eyeball to eyeball, they say he have what? He have basic bed, he have demon in him. Hallelujah. No matter what you do to make people like you, they can never love you. They can never like you. The only person that will like you is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will also put people that will also love you. So you have right to judge those inside the church, but outside the church, you have no right. So now he now say, he said, God will judge those outside. Hallelujah. So God will judge those outside the church, but those inside the church that is still behaving, that is still having these characters, all this attitude that I have right for you, you have right to correct them. Hallelujah. You are not judging them, you are telling them that such attitude, such attitude that showing sexual immoral uh, or greed or adulterate or slander or drunkard, you have right to tell them that as a Christian, they're supposed not to do this. They don't need to do it because they are a child of God. You have right to tell them. If they hate you for that, if they want to leave you for that, let them go. Hallelujah. Amen. Let them go. They are not your God. Because the Bible said God is the one that lifted one up. He's the one that brings them one down. So if you want to leave me, it doesn't matter. Go. Because if we don't know the truth, when people start leaving us, we will be feeling pain. Let them go. Let them go. If you know the truth, when people leave you because of the truth, you are happy. That means your, your message is touching life. Hallelujah. When people are still sitting there comfortable with you, living evil, evil life, world, world, world life, stupid life, and they are still comfortable with you, know that your message is not touching them. Hallelujah. When your message is touching them, possibility that that message can change them or they can run from that message. 5,000 people leave Jesus Christ. Cloud, a lot of people leave it because of he tell them the truth. He turned to the disciple, the, the 12 disciples. He said, do you want to go also? They said, no, Lord, we will go with you. So your message, the moment Jesus Christ teaching the truth, they leave him. They go away. Because don't, don't bother that you are a servant of God and you are teaching the truth. People decided to leave you. Let them go. Hallelujah. Let them go. Those that want to be saved, they will sit down with you. They will listen and that message will bless them. Hallelujah. That is the problem we have today. I was a victim before, but God has delivered me because I never knew why people were just living. But now I understand better. Let them go if they want to go. It doesn't matter whoever they are leaving you because you tell them the truth. Let them go. Hallelujah. He yeah. said, God will judge people outside the church. Then the people in the pub, the people in the club, the people that is living wayward life, God will judge them. But you that is inside the church, you have right to tell your brothers in the church, to tell your sisters in the church that they should what? They should change. Hallelujah. Amen. Then 
now go again when you read further. He said, exploit the, the wicked person from among you. That is where the message is coming from. Hallelujah. Take the wicked people out away from your group. Hallelujah. Because the people that will bring shame to the body of Christ, the people that will, that will be inside the church, they will be causing confusion, they will be causing divination, they will be causing so many things. Their way is not pleasing God. When you see them, you don't see everything that these people don't even know God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our attitude, our character is telling people who we are. There is, a, there is a song my grandmother used to say. It said, you will, nobody will show, you, 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 you cannot tell people who that person are. That person himself will prove who he really is or are to you. Hallelujah. You don't need to start spoiling people. If somebody is not good, if he's bad, if he's dead, you don't need to start telling people. You just give that person a chance because character cannot hide. That person will prove himself. Am I telling you the truth? So your attitude as a Christian, you say you are a Christian, some people will look at you, they will say, is this really Christian? The worldly people that are supposed to see your attitude and say, let me follow Christ. So they will still see you, you is claiming you are a Christian, they will still be comfortable of their sin. It's a shame. It's a very big shame. Hallelujah. I know people may not like what I'm preaching. It doesn't bother me. Those that have here, let them hear. Because in the last day, you will say, I wish I know. I will listen to that woman of God. You may hate me. You may not like me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me anymore. But I must tell you the truth. Change for your evil way. If you did not change, the Bible says, we should take you out away from our midst. Hallelujah. He said, God, he said, God, now I'm finished. I'm just going to read something for you. I'm finished that. But the end said, he said, exploit people, exploit the wicked person from among you. Take that person away from among you. No matter the bread that person is giving to you, no matter the meat, no matter what that person is doing for you, as far the way, the attitude, they still have this attitude inside them. The Bible said, take them away from you. Hallelujah. Even though it's the person that is the person is the one that is financing the, the house of God, take that person away. God will bring another person that will help his church. He said, I will build my church. The gate of hell shall not prevail. Is that not what Jesus said? So now we pastor, we will not tell them the truth. We will not speak the truth so that they will not take offense and go with their tithe and their offering. Let them go if they want to go. God with his mercy will build his church. Hallelujah. You cannot have such people that will be bringing shame to the house of God, that will be bringing disgrace, that will be bringing confusion, that will be bringing divination, that will be using people's head to crash together in the church. Then because you don't want to lose member, you seek, let that person sit comfortable inside the house of God. Shame on we, pastor. Shame. Shame. Yes. Don't say that they are arrogant. No. Me, I'm, I'm very humble. I'm very nice. But when it comes to the things of God, when it comes to the truth, I will, not, I, will not, I will not compromise. Never. I will not look at your face. I will speak what God wants me to speak to you. I will tell you the truth. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean I'm a bad person. As far as I am preaching the word of God through the, His word, through Bible, you have nothing to hold me. You cannot hold me that I, 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 am, I, am, I, am, I am cursing you. I am not cursing you. Maybe God want me to tell you the truth so that you live a righteous life. I said it before. There is a way that I see end good to, to people, but the end thereof is death and destruction. Hallelujah. So have nothing to do with such people. Whatever they want to say, let them say. Stay away from them. Because... Let me quickly read one Bible verse for you. <laughs> when you go to 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33. He said, "Do not he said do, do not be mis, do not be misled. Bad company corrupt what? Good manner. Good character. Hallelujah. 
If somebody is telling you it doesn't matter what is there, somebody is drinking, is drinking itself out, then you are there, you are not drinking. Then why is why why is that? It doesn't matter. Don't be misled. Bad company corrupts what? Good character. Hallelujah. If you have good character, you are going with people that have bad character. Time will come, you will start hurting like them. That's why the Bible said, don't eat with them. Don't go to their home. Have nothing to do with such people. Hallelujah. And another Bible verse also says, 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14. It said, do not be, do not be equal yoke. Do not be equal yoke together with unbeliever. Hallelujah. Because people, they call themselves Christian. They are so-called Christian. Because a real Christian, a real born-again Christian, have nothing to do with sexual immoral, have nothing to do with idol, have nothing to do with greed, have nothing to do with things that will not bring glory to God. Are you hearing it? So such people, the Bible said, do not be equal yoke with them because they are unbelievers. I must tell you the truth. They may say they are Christian. They are not Christian. They have no fear of God. Because if they have fear of God, they will not have all this attitude that they have. They are, po they, are po they are possessed. They say they are Christian. Never. Because a Christian must live a righteous life. A Christian must live a good life. Hallelujah. He said, he said, do not be together, do not be equal yoke with unbeliever. He said, he said, for what do righteousness and darkness have in common? He's asking you a question. For what righteousness and and what and wickedness have in common? If you are if you are a righteous person, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm unbeliever, because unbeliever, their attitude seems like wickedness. Because what they are doing, they are greed, they are, they, they are wicked, they are gossip, they are causing confusion, they are using people here to hit themselves. They will, somebody will tell them something, they will go out there to change it, to twist it, so that the other person will be angry of, the, of his brother or of his sister. So you, are, you have wickedness in your heart. Hallelujah. So what's, what business with the righteous and wickedness have in common? He said, oh, what fellowship can light have with darkness? Hallelujah. If, if I'm a wicked person and you are a righteous person, I have nothing to do with me. Because you are a righteous person, I have evil heart, I can do anything with that, with that I don't think about it, with that I don't think about the consequence that, that, we, that we cause to my brother, the, uh, the, the affliction I will cause in my brother's heart, the pains, the sorrow that I will cause in them, I just do what, whatever I want to do. I don't care, I don't bother. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, I will say that I am a Christian. No, I am not a Christian. Hallelujah. Because a born again Christian, a Christian always obey the voice of God. The, that, that tiny voice that is telling you, stop when you want to do wrong, it will convince you. It will convince you of your sin. A Christian always obey that voice. But if you are not a Christian, when that voice still comes to try to save you from that thing, you will not listen. You will still carry on and do the wrong thing. Hallelujah. So darkness and light have nothing to do together, my brothers and sisters. Run with your life. Run away from such people. If in they are your friend, run away from them. If they are your brothers or your sister, and you are still living in the same home, or they are your husband or your wife, you don't know how to deal with these people. That is what I said before. So I will grant you, I will give you one Bible verse. Let's see. The Bible verse said, that is God said, he said, the fear of God is the beginning of the wisdom. When you have fear of God, now you will have wisdom. So such people, and they have this attitude, and they are in you, they are with you. They are your brother, they are your sister, they are your wife, they are your husband. Hallelujah. So such people, they are your children. Such people, it's very difficult. It's not easy to just do away with them. Hallelujah. But the truth of the matter is that you need to do what? You need to ask God for wisdom. Hallelujah. You need to ask God for wisdom. You need to ask God for understanding. You need to ask God for what? Knowledge. Hallelujah. Because knowledge means you, you will know. Understanding, you will understand. Wisdom will tell you, will direct you. You will be wise. 
Hallelujah. So when you now go to Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 9 going, I'm going to read to 9, 9 to 15. He said, if you listen to me, if you listen to me, it's, a, it's an advice. Hallelujah. If you listen to me, you will know what is what is right. Hallelujah. If you listen to me, you will know what is right, just and fair. You will know what you should do. Hallelujah. When you listen to this advice, you will know what is right. You will know what is just. Okay, let me just read from from six. Hallelujah. Let me read from six so that you understand it very clearly. He said, "It he said it is the Lord who gives wisdom. From He comes knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah. It is the Lord who gives wisdom, and from Him comes knowledge and understanding. Seven. He provides helps. He provides what helps and protection." For those who are righteous and honest. Are you hearing it? It is God who gives wisdom. And he provides what? Help for those who are what? Who are righteous and who are honest. So are you with me? Then eight. He said he, he, he protects those who. He said he protects those who treat others fairly. Hallelujah. He protects those who treat others fairly. Not treat people anyhow. Not do things anyhow. No, no, don't look at your chest that who is this person. Hallelujah. You can be your thought today. Tomorrow you will be done. Remember the Bible, God said, I am the one that lifted one up. I am the one that lifted one down. What about your God have lifted you up to be a blessing to others? And you are using that blessing to punish people. You are using that blessing to, to, overru- to override anybody. To take advantage of people that is around you. Hallelujah. Possibility, when the Bible says, it says, God resists the pride and give grace to the humble. And they shall surely bring what the pride down. Hallelujah. Be honest. Be good. Treat people right. Hallelujah. Treat people right. And it goes again. We are in... Um, uh-huh. Treat people right. And it, say, and it guides those who are devoted to him are you hearing me god will guide you if you are devoted to him you cannot be someone that love god you cannot be someone that always that always seek the presence of god and you will have all those attitudes of first corinthians 5 verse 11 going you can never have such attitude never it's not possible if you seek the presence of god always if you give yourself to god God will guide you. He said, God guide those who, who devoted to him. Then nine, he said, if you listen to me, now the advice is coming. If you listen to me, you will know that you will know what is right, just and fair. You will know what you should do. Hallelujah. You will know what to do because you listen to the advice you ask wisdom from god and god now give you wisdom he give you knowledge and understanding and he helps you he guides you he protects you hallelujah then you will know what to do because you have god inside you then you you will become wise are you seeing it you will become wise because why you have given yourself to god you will become wise praise god you will become wise and and your knowledge will your knowledge will give you pleasure your knowledge will give you what pleasure and your insight and understanding will protect you your knowledge will give you what joy will give you pleasure will give you happiness your what your insight and understanding will what we protect you hallelujah we protect you and um, we protect you and um, and prevent and prevent you from doing the wrong thing now you see knowledge is very powerful understanding is powerful inside and the word wisdom is very powerful they will protect you they will prevent you doing the wrong thing i'm going somewhere doing the wrong thing they will keep you always from people who step who step up trouble 
by what they say. Hallelujah. It will prevent you, it will save you from people who what who stand up trouble for what they say. Because people, wicked people, always use awful words. Awful words, I mean. Very awful. Word that will crush your soul. We have some people like that in husband. We have it in wife. We have it in children. We have it in brothers and sisters. So when you have it, in, when you have us such people that always bring some word, awful word, harmful, their word will hurt your soul, will pierce your soul, and you are living with them, and you are seeing them like they are wicked because a righteous person. We always do the right thing. They will never do the wrong thing. They will never say a word that will crush your soul. Hallelujah. That will hurt you. You are looking for a rope to hang yourself. No. A righteous person will never do that to his fellow brother or his fellow sister. Hallelujah. So, he said your word. They will, pre- they will prevent you, keep you away for such, for such people that stir up trouble by what they say. He said those who have abandoned those who have abandoned a righteous life to live in the darkness of sin. So those who um, those who find pleasure in doing wrong and who enjoy senseless evil would be what? They will be what? They will be destroyed. People, people who cannot be trusted. Those people you cannot be, you can't, they can never be trusted because they are senseless. They have no brain. You understand? They always live the right thing and do the wrong thing. So such people, your knowledge, your understanding, your what, your wisdom will always guide you for such people. Hallelujah. Because when they are doing, when they are possessing all those witchcraft things, the spirit of God inside you, the knowledge and the knowledge of God inside you will make you know he said the children of Issachar, they are the understand of the time. They, are, they understand things. So, but a lot of Christians, we don't understand things. That's why we always find ourselves to repeat in life. But when you understand, when you have the understanding that, oh, okay, this person that always tell us trouble, now devil is around again or evil is around again to cause this, this for you to use this person to cause me pain you understand because why you have the fear of god you have wisdom he give you wisdom and knowledge and insight and understanding of what is going on so with your understanding and your wisdom you can live with these people mm-hmm. hallelujah you can live with them in the same house but the one that is bringing shame to the body of christ the bible says you should take them away hallelujah so that is when you are living with such people that is causing conflict, causing confusion. He said, God wants, he said, we say, God wants us to be friends with, to be friends with and surrounding ourselves with good people. God wants us to surround ourselves with God, with good people. God don't want us to associate ourselves with bad people, with bad difference, with wicked people. Hallelujah. So now listen. If you want to have a friend, choose a good person. Choose a righteous person. Choose an honest person to be your friend. Don't just open your heart for anybody to enter. Don't just open your heart for anybody to come in. Hallelujah. And if you are there, you are still single. You are looking for a husband. You are looking for a wife. Please, ask God for knowledge and understanding. Because... When you now marry a wrong person, as a man, as a woman, your destiny is what is at stake. Hallelujah. You may have a very bright future, a very bright destiny, but if you did not follow God's path to give you wisdom and understanding, to give you insight, to know whom you want to marry, hallelujah, your life will be miserable. You that have not married yet, you still have time now. To seek God, to be what, to be dedicated to God, so that your life will bring will bring glory to God. Don't be deceived. Bad character corrupt good manner. You may be a born again Christian, a righteous person, a devoted Christian that devotes itself to God. When you marry a bad man, when you marry a bad wife, you are gone. Hallelujah. 
you are gone. I say you need to be prayerful and ask God for wisdom and understanding that will make you sustain yourself in that marriage so that Satan will not be using that person to take rob your blessing. Hallelujah. So now, you that is still looking, please look wise. Get close to God so that God will help you. Hallelujah. God will help you. I know marriage, marriage is a school, it's a lesson. Every pub, everybody, the marriage have his tough time on his own. Yes, it's truth. But when you marry a righteous person, hallelujah. Not like problem will not be there, you people will not be having misunderstanding. But both of you will be listening to the voice of God when the misunderstanding comes. Is that not truth? So, because the man is righteous, the woman is righteous. Both of you are a good born again Christian. So Satan may come to try to destroy. You know, it's a it's, it's a it's a thief. It need to it's a it's a thief. It destroy. It steal. It do all kinds of things. It will try. He will try to surely come. Hallelujah. But the truth of the matter is that as far both of you have wisdom, you believe God, you fear God, you will have sustainer. The wisdom of God, the fear of God will sustain you. Hallelujah. But if you don't have wisdom, if you don't have the fear of God, but one part have the other one, Satan is using it, your life will be miserable. Except you have this wisdom, this understanding I've just read for you, you will what? You will succeed. You will succeed. But it's not easy. It's going to be a battle. You are going to be bleeding in your heart. You are going to, you are going to be weeping every day because of what the other one is doing. But the truth of the matter, the God that gives strength will give you strength. But you don't want to go through all those pains. You don't want to go through all those difficulties. You don't want to go through all those bitterness. You want to go through the way of God. Wait for God's time. Let God choose for you. Hallelujah. Children, brother, sister, wait for God's time. And when God choose for you, ask God for one thing, wisdom. When God give you wisdom, he will grant you understanding and knowledge. Ask, request, he will give it to you. So now, inside, you will start knowing what to do. Hallelujah. So now, that is about marriage also. So about wicked people. Friends, he said, God wants you to what? To associate yourself with good people. Hallelujah. He said, good people who do not cause us confusion. Hallelujah. God wants you to associate yourself with good people. Good people who will not cause us confusion. Hallelujah. Because it will be very difficult for a good person, someone that carried Christ in his heart, to be causing confusion. Hallelujah. <laughs> to be causing confusion. So, or stir up conflicts. It's not possible for a good person to do that. But when you associate yourself with wrong people, that is what they will be doing to you. Every run and day, they will be causing you confusion in your mind. They will be stirring up trouble. Hallelujah. They will just be angry for no reason. They will be bitter to just hurt you. Any little thing, they will just take advantage of your heart. Hallelujah. So such people, my brothers and sisters, you don't need them if you want to live long in life. If you want to have long life and prosperous life, don't have anything to do with evil people. Stay away from them. Hallelujah. Amen. Or have art deceived or wickedness. Those that have deceitful hearts or wickedness in their hearts have nothing to do with them. Run for your life. He said, God does, God does not say we should, we should harm or Three, try and change or inform the the what the evil people. God did not ask us to change anyone. God did not want us to ha harm anyone. But the truth of the matter is that you just need to stay away from them because the only thing that will change people is the word of God. I cannot change you. Don't go into marriage, into friendship, into the relationship, or it can just be on a different thing. You can change that person. You are wasting your time. You are deceiving yourself, my brothers and sisters, because you have no power to change anybody. You have no power to change anybody. If you see attitude of somebody, run away from that. Hallelujah. Amen. God has blessed us with children, boys and girls. If you have children, if you have boy, if you're someone to marry, try to advise him. Don't just marry because you love that person. Hallelujah. 
because you love that person and the person has bad character. Marriage is a school. It's a school that you will go there and have degree or diploma. Are you getting it? So time will come. Love cannot love will disappear. Love will disappear. Look for a godly wife, a godly husband to marry. Are you hearing it? When you marry because she is beautiful, he is handsome, and they have evil character, your life, all, all that marriage will be miserable. Hallelujah. Because time will come, marriage is decay. After seven years, you will sit tough. Then if you can sustain to another 14 years, you will sit tough. If you can sustain to 21 years, possibility, both of you can live forever. Hallelujah. But if you don't want to see all those tough times, marry a godly man, a godly wife. Not like both of you will not have, you will not have issue, but no issue to be saying harmful words. A word that will crash spirit. A word that will not make you revive. A word that will not make you be a human being again. You don't need it as a child of God. And all those words, instead of not taking, all those words will be ringing in your mind every time. And you cannot, you cannot longer be a prayerful person. You cannot longer have a self-esteem. That word will destroy you. It will, it will destroy your prayer life. It will destroy everything about you. It will destroy your godly life. Hallelujah. Before you know, you start living like them. That's why the Bible says, do not be misled. Bad company corrupt good manner. Hallelujah. So another set of people again. Because of time, let me rush. Another set of people again. Proverbs 14 verse 7. It says, stay, it says, stay away from a fool. For you will not find knowledge on their lips. Hallelujah. Another set of people again. We, we have set of people that have wickedness in their hearts. We have another set of people. They don't have wickedness in their heart, but they are foolish people. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So another set of people again. They are what? They are a fool. Foolish people. Bible say you should also stay away from what? For such people, because you will not find knowledge from their lips. Hallelujah. Then when you now go to Proverbs 21, 27, verse 17, the Bible says, As iron sharpened iron, so a person sharpened another person. Hallelujah. When you now, you are, you are, you are equal yoke with a fool, you are a friend, you, have a, you are living with a fool, you, you have a fool as a friend. Hallelujah. You know what you always get yourself? Arguments. Hallelujah. You always get yourself arguing. You always find yourself to be arguing every time. Hallelujah. Because you try to pull senses into that foolish person's head. The person is not seeing. Remember the Bible said, the fool also, they are wise on their own eyes. Hmm? Is that not truth? So another set of people that can rubbish your life is foolish people. They can make your life miserable. Hallelujah. So now the Bible is telling you to stay away from them. But if you have a fool as a husband, or as a wife, or as, as brother or as sister, you still need that proverb chapter 2, verse, verse 6 going to 15. You still need it. That is what will still help you. But if you have it as a friend, or as a colleague, or whatever, stay away from them. Because you can never find knowledge in their mouth. They will also make your life miserable. They will make you have bitterness in your heart because you will try to explain to them to make them see reason. They will not see it because in their own eyes, they are wise. They will make your life miserable. Hallelujah. So you don't want all those in your spiritual life. Then stay away from them. It's not my word, it's Bible. It says stay away from them. If you want to grow in spirit, if you want to grow in knowledge of God, if you want to grow to, to, to dedicate yourself to God, such people need to live your life. Otherwise, they will be causing you bitterness and pains every day. Hallelujah. Look for those that will sharpen your spirits. Look for those that we that, that is wise, that you know they are wise. Their mouth come out from their mouth. When they say something, you know that they have knowledge, they have wisdom, they have understanding. That is such people you will you will mingle with because I am sharpening I am. Hallelujah. So another person will sharpen it, another person. Me, with a brother or a sister Christian that have wisdom, 
can sharpen you, give you more wisdom. And with their own wisdom, you will learn. The one they also have, you will also learn from them. You can't learn anything for a fool. Otherwise, the Bible also says that way, you will become foolish like them. Is that not truth? Do you want to grow? Do you want to have prosperity? Do you want to get there where God is taking you to? Stay away from wicked people, number one. Stay away from foolish people. Stay away from people that stir up trouble in their stomach. Stay away from them. Be wise like a serpent and be gentle like a dove. Hallelujah. I'm teaching you today. I am teaching you deep things that will help you. It will also help your children if they grow up so that they will not make the same mistake we have made already. A lot of we, the problem we have today, the frustration, the agony, whatever we find ourselves in today is because we don't have wisdom. Because if we have wisdom, if we have understanding, if we have knowledge, there is the relationship you have today, you're supposed not to marry that woman. Is that not truth? You're supposed not to marry that man. But because you never ask God for wisdom, you carry it away because of beauty. That's why you are suffering today. Hallelujah. The voice is not allowed apart from adultery. Are you hearing it? So you are going to live with it. But you need that because you are a child of God. Ask God to grant you wisdom to live with that fellow in your life. Hallelujah. But you that have not married, please... Hold God tight. The way Jacob hold God tight, I will not let you go except you bless me. And say God bless you with the man from his heart. Never allow yourself to be moved by beauty. Hallelujah. Never allow yourself. Because time will come, you will cry. Hallelujah. Don't misunderstand me. I am not telling you marriage don't have trouble. They have trouble. But, because the Bible said it, if you look at Corinthians, it said marriage have trouble on his own every day but with godly wife godly husband we can what at least we can sustain because the bible said do not allow do not allow unful word a foolish thing to be proceed out from your mouth hallelujah because that is what the bible said because you are a good christian you will never allow that evil word satan is putting inside your head inside your mind to speak to your wife to speak to your husband so that it will have pain you will never allow that to happen you have, the, you have the Holy Spirit that will say, never say that word. It will convince you and you will never speak that word out from your mouth. Is that not truth? May God bless you. So now, one word, Psalm 1-1. One, one. It says, blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stay in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. Hallelujah. Another set of people is those that mock that is mocking people you you have not your your race have not end in this world you are mocking people why hallelujah we are still on a race we all are still on a journey we are still going on a journey why are you mocking your brothers? Why are you mocking your sister? Why are you mocking those that they, 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 maybe they are on trial Hallelujah. Why are you mocking people? When you see brother, sister, people around you, your friends, they find themselves in this situation, you yourself don't understand. Maybe they themselves don't understand. Your duty as a Christian is to pray for them. Not to sit down, to gather together, to be using that person's name, to be drinking beer, drinking gouda, eating pepper soup, using the name, laughing at that person. Look at her, look at him. Well, now I think I think God has forsaken them. I think no. You yourself, do you know tomorrow? You are still on a journey. Hallelujah. That person may see, may see her own or his own. Try her now. His face is in now. You are mocking at that person. Do you know what will befall you tomorrow? Are you hearing it? Do you know what will befall you tomorrow? You don't know. Nobody know what will happen the next minute. I wish the scientists know what will strike the world. They will prepare and wait for it. Are you hearing me? They don't know. It strike the world suddenly. Are you hearing me? So anybody in this world, as far you are a human being, anybody, because the Bible said, there must be a time of trouble. A day of trouble will come. That's why Jesus 
why I said it. He said, in the world there is full of trouble, but in me there is full of peace. Shut up and overcome the world. Every human being on this one, no matter how you are anointed, no matter the oil that is on your head, a day of trouble will surely come. When you see that brother, when you see that sister, his friend is saying suddenly trouble, suddenly persecution, suddenly problem. You see that person is passing those trouble. For you to be praying for them. You don't know what causes it. You don't know if it's their sin. You don't know if the trial of faith. You don't know if Satan. You are just there laughing at them, mocking at them, gossiping them, saying all kinds of evil about them. Do you know what will be for you tomorrow? You don't know. Hallelujah. So now the Bible is telling you it's on 111. He said, Blessed is the one who does not walk in, who does not walk in, in step with the wicked or with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take. Blessed are you if you did not walk in the way of wicked. Take the step on which sinners take. Hallelujah. Take or sit in the company of mockers. Don't sit with them. The company of mockers. Don't sit with them. Those that mock people. Those that always gossip people. You don't see their life now. You don't see their marriage. You don't see their children. You don't see this. You don't. You you talk every. You mock parents. You mock their children. You mock everybody that you know. You talk evil about people. You talk evil about people predicaments. Who are you? That have seen that has finished the race of the world. Hallelujah. Please, Bible said, blessed than you if you did not walk in that area. Don't walk with them because those people, their destruction, they will meet they, their suddenly destruction will surely fall upon them sooner. Hallelujah. You are mocking that people, then your own come. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Hallelujah. The Bible said, don't, don't be deceived. God can never be mocked. Whatever a man sow, he shall surely what? Reap. The measure you use against someone will be measure, will be used against you, said Jesus. That is what he said. Amen. Whatever you use against someone will be what used against you. The measure you use against someone will be measure against you. Hallelujah. The condition may not be the same because we are not we are not in the same journey. We are in the same journey but we are not we are not we are not we are not doing the same thing. My predicament cannot be your own. But you will surely receive what you what you sow. If I sow evil, I will also receive it. Whatever I must so reap. Don't be mocked. And you cannot mock God whether you mock his children. Hallelujah. So be careful the way you do things, children of God. Be careful. You do not have to mock someone because your teeth is very wise, white. Be careful. Time will come that your teeth will turn to what? Yellow. Mm. Hallelujah. You cannot even open your mouth to smile. Talk less you want to talk about somebody. God will give you a heavy trouble that you yourself will be fighting. You will not remember other people again. If you don't want that to come, to knock on your door, stay away from those who mock people. Stay away from the road, sinner and what evil people take. Don't stay with them. Run for your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm, 1, Psalm 119 verse 115 said, Away from me, you evil doers, that I may what? Keep the, keep, com keep the commandment of my God. Yes. I will never stay with evil people. I have made my mistake. I have learned from my mistake. I will never. Whatever you like to say, say is your mind because the man meant to talk and to eat. Hallelujah. You need to stay away from me. If you are a born again Christian, you are hearing me. Tell those people to stay away from you so that you will be able to keep the commandment of your father. Hallelujah. Because if they did not stay away from you, you are still associate yourself with them. You know what will happen? You cannot keep the commandment of God. Thank you, Jesus. So, he says, stay away from me. 
so that I will be able to keep the commandment of my God. I only have three Bible verses, then we go. Psalm 26, verse 4 to 5. He said, I do not sit with the deceitful, nor do associate with hypocrites. Hallelujah. The assembly of evil doer, I refuse to sit with the wicked. That is what King David was saying. He refused to sit with the wicked. He will never sit with those that have deceitful spirits or either to associate himself with evil people, with arrogant people, with evil drawers, with great people. He said, no. He refused to sit with them. Hallelujah. You yourself, if you want to be blessed, if you want God to, to lift you high, if you want to accomplish your destiny, stay away from wicked people. Stay away from evil doers. Are you hearing me? Stay away from them. Have nothing to do with them. Have nothing to do with arrogant people. Have nothing to do with all temper people. Have nothing to do with such people because they will lead you into their own way. Hallelujah. Proverbs 22 verse 24 to 25. It says, Do not make friends with an all temper person. Do not associate with with someone who is easily angry or you may learn their way and get yourself ensnared. That is what I just said for you. That is what Bible, Bible is advising us. Don't be deceived. Don't deceive yourself that no, 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 no matter how, no matter how holy you are, no matter how righteous you are, when you are moving with all temper people, when they do something to you, you yourself, because of that pain they caused you, you will not know you will not know when you will retaliate. Then you will get yourself a snare. They will lay you their way. Are you hearing it? So that's why Bible is addressing you today. Say, do not make a friend with a hot temper person. Do not associate with someone who is easily angry. 25. Or you may lay their way. You see? You may lay their way. And you will get yourself a snare by day. You will get yourself trapped by them. Hallelujah. Stay away from such people. Stay away from them. May God bless you. The last Bible verse I will give you today that I pray for you. James, 13, James, uh, James chapter 3 verse 16. It says, For where heavy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Hallelujah. That is the last Bible verse I will give to you. So, another set of people, there are people that don't want you to succeed. Their friend, their brother, their sister, their husband, their wife, they don't want you to succeed because they are just jealous of your progress. They are jealous. They know that you have, you have a great destiny. They know that you have a bright star. They know so many things that you don't know. They have eyes to sin, but you don't have that eyes to sin those things. They know. So, where every, where, uh, uh, it says, for where heavy and strife is, there is confusion and every work, every evil work. Hallelujah. If you are moving with friends that have jealousy in their heart for you, you are moving with people that have jealousy in their heart for you, so then they are stirring up strife. Strife is there. There must be what? Confusion. It's just like church. Let's use the church as an example. Let's forget about husband and wife or brothers and sisters now. Let's use the house of God as an example. Example now. For instance, I'm a pastor in the church. Then someone, someone just come to the church and the person is really anointed. Maybe me, I'm not anointed. You know, everybody is called different way. So then the person, whatever he's doing, you know, <laughs> the grace is there, the anointing is there. So, if I'm not really of God, eh? jealousy will come, heavy will start. You understand? It can also be a leader. Some leaders also, what they cannot do, other person just come, they are doing it with their hands. Jealousy will start, heavy will what? We start. From there, strife will be there. Are you hearing it? Because 
what somebody can do because I cannot do it, another person is doing it. For me to be thanking God for that person, like that, God should give me that same grace to do what this person is doing. Because whatever anybody is doing, you cannot do it. It's not the person's power, it's the grace of God. Hallelujah. What you can do, and I cannot do it. I will be thanking God for you. I will be praying for that same grace. Father, I love this thing, but I cannot do it. I need the grace to be able to do it. For the children of God to go to pray, to ask God for the grace, they will start, they will step, they will, they will, they will be angry. They will be jealous. Every will come. They strive will not enter the house of God. Before you know, confusion will fall everywhere. Hallelujah. Before you know, every kind of evil work will not be growing up there. Hallelujah. So we should be careful also in those areas. Those things I said always happen in the house of God. Strive. They will be, they will, they will be angry of each other. Pastor will be jealous of he called pastor because he cannot do what he's doing. Hallelujah. Is the grace ask God? The Bible says, Is there anyone desire whatever you desire? He said, Ask God, we give it to you. If you desire what that person what that person is doing, why can't you ask? Then you will try to be manipulating other people to, to see that person the way you see that person. Then you will see a group we gather together. We we'll be fighting a sister, a brother that just come today that is doing what you have been there for 100 years. You don't want to do it. You cannot do it. Some people, they can't do it, but they don't just want to do it because they believe that church is for pastor. Church is not for pastor. Church is the house of God. Whatever you come to the house of God to do, you do it for yourself. Hallelujah. If you go to the house of God now, you are sweeping the house of God, then you take it as your duty. You are sweeping it. The person is not doing it because he wants to show off. The person is doing it because he wants God to sweep away every dirtiness away in his life. Because the way he's sweeping the house of God every time, God is taking uh, sickness, dirtiness, or disease, taking every kind of things away from, from that fellow. God bless you, sir. Taking away from that fellow. Hallelujah. But you are there. You cannot sweep. You are gossiping. Well, she just come. She's just doing high service. No, she is taking a blessing. Or he is taking a blessing. Hallelujah. May God bless you. I'm going to leave you with this. Just think about it very well. And change. The one that have evil heart, change. And the one that you know that people have evil hearts and they are not willing to change, run away from them. I'm leaving you with two things. Hallelujah. Two things I leave you with now today. You that have evil hearts, please change. The Bible said, God said in the book of Ezekiel, He said He did not wish sinners to die. He wished them to repent because He will forgive them. Hallelujah. If you have evil hearts, change. Change, repent, God will forgive you. But you that is righteous and you know someone have evil heart and the person is not willing to change, is causing you confusion, causing you pain, causing you so many problems, run away. Stay away from that person, it's not a sin. Hallelujah. Because evil character corrupt good character. Stay away from that person. Otherwise, you will become like them. Let's pray. May God bless you. May God bless you. Children of God, open your mouth and pray today. Tell God to forgive you your sin. You know, sometimes we may not know what we are doing if no one is willing to teach us the truth. Hallelujah. Because I have made that mistake before, I have learned, I have received my punishment. I was in the midst of people that were drinking, doing all sorts of things, but I'm not drinking, I'm just sitting down there. God punished me for that. Hallelujah. I received so many punishments. Because why? I did not correct them. Hallelujah. For me, I feel it doesn't really matter because it's their, it's, it's their life, because they're supposed to know what the Bible said, but 
They may not they may not know. You understand? They may not know. Sometimes you know it's very the truth is bitter. Most pastors don't want to t- preach the truth. They are afraid that people will go. You understand? They are afraid that people will leave them. They are afraid that their tithe and their offering will go. Brothers and sisters, if you are a man of God, let them go. It doesn't matter. God will build this church. Because they also leave Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ te- start teaching the truth. If you don't teach the truth and those people die in their sin, you know what will happen? You will be whole responsible. The book of Ezekiel, the Bible said, God said, He said, I, I, I will raise a watchman to watch over my people. When I, when I ring a bell and the watchman refused to tell the people to be what? To be prepared. He did not say to them, and any destruction, anything happened to them, he will hold the watchman responsible. Is that not true? But he said, when the watchman now tell the people prepare and the people refuse to listen, they did not prepare. So whatever happened to them will be on their own thoughts. Okay? So now I'm tell you the truth. You know the truth. The truth is bitter. It's not easy. Don't associate yourself with people that is open bottle, drinking it anyhow, throwing it, they will get yourself drunk. No. If they are your friend, tell them that it's not good. Hallelujah. It's there in the Bible. And if you have a friend that is that is committing adultery, fornicate, fornicating, doing all sorts of evil, greed, all those kind, all sorts of evil, adultery, and the serving idol, tell them the truth that the way they are going is not pleasing God. If you did not tell them, then die on it and you know God will hold you responsible. Hallelujah. Amen. These people may not know. They think they are enjoying themselves. Hallelujah. But you know, man of God, women of God, ministers of God, evangelists, apostles, every, all the old five old ministry you know, even deaconess, deacon, you all know. Tell them the truth. If you did not tell them the truth, you will live to regret it. So today, if you tell them they refuse to listen, stay away from them. It's not a sin, okay? So let them say whatever they want to say. As far as you tell them they don't this thing, stay away from them. Have nothing to do with them. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Father, I pray for your people today. Protect them. Guide them. Deliver them. Give them strength to hear your word. Amen. Father, I have delivered your message today. Father, Lord, grant them wisdom and understanding to understand that we love them, you love them, that they should stay away from what will not bring glory to God and follow Christ and do what will bring glory to the hearts of God. Amen. Father, Lord, grant them that wisdom. Forgive them their sin. Give them chance to come back to you. You always open your hand to receive them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for their life. Thank you for everything you have done for us. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Shalom. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be unto you. Remain blessed, people of God. God bless you.